Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing your October love reading and I'm going to do a little bit of a twist. We have lots of different words in here that will kind of be to do towards your month and also we have charms and things like that. So let's get started with your reading. So please choose your group. We have group number one, two, three and four. All the time stats will be down below and I'm also going to be putting some crystal cards on the groups now. So these are the crystals. We have group number one group two, group three, and group four. So please choose your group now. All the time stats will be down below and in the comments section. And let's get started. Also, please feel free to pause if you need some extra time. So starting for group number one with the Apophyllite. Hello, group number one. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading and let's see what's going on for you guys within the month of October for your love life, okay? So first starting off with the crystal cards. We have this one. And we have this one. So let's see what we have here. So we have Apophyllite and we also have Azurite. So for you guys, it says when your spiritual life feels like a moving target and it says when material pleasures aren't giving you the buzz they're used to. So for you guys, it's very much about you putting things into perspective and seeing the value in situations. And in terms of your love life, it's really important to play and just have fun and learn to just take things as they come along. And with Azurite, it's to do with exploring your hidden depth and Apophyllite is very much to do with beaming yourself up and kind of contacting spirit. So with this being blue and this being more of a clear crystal, this is to do with your throat chakra and this is to do with your crown and your third eye. So for you guys, it's talking about your spirituality, really speaking your truth and also really just connecting with your spirit guides. And in the viewfinder, I saw like a little orb. So I don't know if that was picked up on camera. It might just have been in my intuition, but I do feel like you guys are really kind of tuning into your energy to do your spirituality and tuning into what feels right for you. So if you meet somebody this month, then it's kind of tuning into what feels right for you. And if this person is a, a match for you, like I'm hearing a suitor. So I don't really like the word suitor, but that's what's coming out. So I'm gonna put those crystals down there. Okay, so let's have a look at your cards. So I'm going to pull the oracle cards first and then we'll do tarot and a little chakra card as well. So let's have a look. So we have luck, beautiful. So really, really gorgeous, intense energies this month. Really kind of just very luxurious and feeling really in the flow. Total submersion. Star mother, how can you mother yourself? Don't dim to fit in. And then we also have antelope spirit, new pathways. Consider whether you're happy on your current path. Okay, so for you guys, this is really, really beautiful. So the first card we have is luck, which is really, really beautiful. This is very much about being very lucky in love and feeling like things are really kind of coming in for you. You feel like you can really be in your own energy and really just be very connected to what it is that you need and what it is that you want. So I think for you guys, it's really important to just focus on the things that really light you up and make you really happy and just make you feel alive and feel like you can really be in your own energy. It says, don't be afraid to fully immerse yourself in a project, interest or goal. Give it 100% of your energy and you may find what your life has been lacking. So I feel like for you guys, it's quite an internal month, but there is new pathways being opened up for you. You may be kind of debating on something about being on a pathway that you think may not be suitable for you. And it's basically saying to not fit in, not, yeah, not dimming to fit in and to mother yourself. So just be really kind to yourself and give yourself the love that you deserve and the love that you need that you may not have had in kind of the world or growing up or anything like that, that that flower just set alight. <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys see that? Okay, she's she's lighting up. Okay, so for you guys, I feel like your solar plexus is really being lit up. And I feel like with the fact that the flower just kind of caught a light, I feel like it's kind of you're spreading your energy around in a good way. It's kind of like you're affecting people in the best way. You're influencing people in a really good way this month. And because you're influencing people, word of mouth is going around. It could be to do with your own business. Your business could be really benefiting from this. And the love for yourself is bringing in much more abundance than you what you thought would be. And the fact we have total submersion is showing me that really getting into a project will really help you with abundance in love. And because it will help you express what you're feeling, and especially if you're dealing with some 
like I'm hearing uncut emotions, so emotions that you're possibly just having trouble dealing with. Um, this, this is going to help you to really tune in and the fact that we have new pathways and don't deem to fit in there may be a pathway that may be family or people are kind of pushing you to do so just be aware that things will shift for you and things will change and feel much more comfortable for you if you learn to walk your own path and consider anything on your path that you may be kind of doing out of feeling like just kind of conditioning of yourself or possibly kind of subconscious patterning just be very aware of the things that you're doing possibly in love but also in the way you're interacting with your relationships and being very aware of what you're doing and how you're interacting with others and how it's really affecting your own lifestyle especially with those of you who are really caring and very empathic be aware when you're kind of giving your power away or when you're really kind of letting yourself be too open or I'm hearing letting yourself be too easy breezy. So it may be some of you guys are quite a serious people and emotions and relationships are very, very serious in a good way. It's like you take it very seriously. Learning to know that you do have things that are important to you and not just brushing them under the rug and thinking, no, they're not important, you know? So that's what I feel like for you guys. So that's really beautiful. Okay, but also being really immersed in the project. And number five is a really important number. Also three and two, very, very important numbers for you guys, okay? So that is that. So let's have a look at your uh, oracle card here. So we have compassion, heart chakra. Resolve your conflicts with compassion. Exactly. So this is all about you guys really focusing on what it is that you need. And, and jade is a very big, uh, impactful crystal in terms of love. It kind of creates luck and it creates like a massive emotional bond, like between you and your heart or you and somebody else. It just creates that intensity. So for you guys, it's just understand that passion, com sorry, compassion and passion possibly will really resolve things that's going on within you. But also with um, comparison, if you're comparing yourself to other people's lives or if you are really struggling with resolving your own conflicts in yourself or with other people, just try and be as compassionate as possible and know that they're only on their own path and you're only on your path. And we all have different ways of dealing with things. So just be very, very kind to yourself and know that you're doing the best that you possibly can. And your heart chakra is going to be really um, kind of affected in this month. So just be very, very aware that if you have any heart palpitations or anything like that, just be aware of those things when they come in or possibly chest pain. But obviously I'm not a doctor, so obviously consult a doctor or a consultant if anything is kind of being, being uncomfortable. So I'm going to have a look at your tarot first and then we're going to look into your little words and things. So, all right, so we have the death card. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. We have the Queen of Swords, we have the Eight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So massive amount of change happening within your passion. You guys are manifesting somebody who could be a masculine fire sign. Uh, there is love here. I do feel like love is going to come in for you in October, especially because we had the heart chakra. That's just showing me because you, the more you give passion, compa passion and compassion to yourself, um, the better you're going to get in your life, the more you're going to kind of be able to interact and manage your work. I'm here and I'm doing this, manage your work. Like, what, what does that mean? So the more you're bringing love into yourself, the more you're going to gain externally. Perfect. Love that. That's a beautiful message. So massive death process. Learn to love yourself and speak your truth. Be very vulnerable with your words. So if you feel you need to speak up about something, don't be scared about doing it. As long as it's compassionately and done with love and empathy, all of those things will really help you. I'm getting really, like, I'm getting a really strong draw to lavender. I think I do have lavender in this candle, but it's, yeah, I'm getting a really strong draw to lavender. So if you feel like lavender is like a scent that you really like or feel the need to have lavender around your house, um, that's a really good thing to have. I'm also getting like grapes and anything that's kind of purple. So anything that's kind of like in your intuition, I feel like you're going to pick up on somebody this month and you're going to, man you're going to manifest somebody. Um, also amethyst is a really good crystal for you guys this month um, but just in general to help with your intuition so if you want any of these crystals that I've mentioned today in a personalized piece then just uh, let me know through my Etsy shop or my Instagram or email all information's down below I also do complete custom pieces so if you want anything done then I, we can have a little chat about it so this is showing me basically you're ending an old cycle with yourself and you're not dealing with any kind of rubbish anymore. You're realizing this is not my authentic path or I need to do something to become more authentically me. Then you're putting in the effort. You're releasing anything that's no longer serves you and possibly debating on a relationship that's no longer good for you or a situation or something within your mind or a conflict within your mind or a conflict within any sort of relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic, but that could be that. Uh, manifesting a Taurus. I'm picking up on Aries really strongly from this group too. You could be an air sign and they could be an earth sign or swapped around. 
Um, this is definitely somebody who's very stable, very financially well off, um, but also they work hard for their money. And I don't like to say work hard for their money because it just feels very almost like, you know, like I'm better than you, but it, it feels very much, very authentic. It feels like they like the hard work. They like putting in the effort to get a sustainable growth from something. And it feels like they're, they're a very successful person. So I do feel like you're going to be manifesting someone very decent and not even decent, just really powerful, very... When I say decent, I mean someone who's just really stable and I feel like you're gonna manifest somebody who's just really amazing and just, they have everything there, the whole freaking package, that's what I'm hearing. And I'm getting drawn to, you know, the package in on their body. So if they are a male, that's what I'm being drawn to. Could be a woman as well, but you know, that's normally the word for a male, you know, a male part. That is what I'm being drawn to. I think it's time for an 18 plus reading because there's a lot of messages that I'm getting very sexual. So I feel like it may need to be a, uh, a, a lot, an 18 plus love reading soon. So we also have you looking at the moon. You're looking at your emotions. You're looking and seeing what is it that I need to work on? Is there any kind of deep emotion that needs to be worked on and kind of looked at? So I feel like this is just a really important time for you to reflect. And um, yeah, I feel like you're just being very aware and you're looking outward, like you're not being too internal. You're looking at it from afar and you're being like, hmm, what is the best way for me to go about this? And also this is you leaving behind an old part of you, which is really beautiful, but an old part of you that's kind of outdated and ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna pull a card from this deck. This is all about relationships and connections. So we're gonna see what's gonna come in for you guys in October. Wow, beautiful connection. I love that. So that is the main message for you guys. And then underneath we have multidimensionality. So somebody who's very multidimensional, they have so many facets, a very spiritual person. We are number 30, so very creative, very communicative. And you're going to manifest somebody who's very stable and a new beginning with someone stable as well. The frequency of connection supports our ability to find alignment and resonance with others, things and ideas. So a lot of connection, a lot of like connections being made. So it could be to do with friendships as well. But there is definitely you're connecting with somebody who's really, really important. Um, and just creating a connection. Even if you're with somebody, I do feel like the connection is going to be really strong or stronger than what it was, um, but also just you're being able to really reflect on your relationship that you possibly have like already, uh, or in relationships you have, and you're managing to connect with people more, more intensely or more on a mature, long-term level, okay? So let's see what's happening for you guys. So I'm gonna pull some, uh, some little cards and things from here. So I'm just gonna shuffle the whole thing. I'm gonna see what's going on here. So I'm gonna put it over here so I can't see and you guys can't see. So it's a complete surprise. I'm trying not to burn my hand. You can see the heart chakra. That's beautiful. I love that. I'm gonna put her back. But we do have the heart chakra and my ear is ringing. So you guys are really welcome your heart chakra this month. Very, very strongly. Okay, so we have Capricorn. We have Gemini. So I'm just gonna show you those up close. Capricorn and Gemini. Okay. We also have Truth. Oh, a relationship Truth. Interesting. And we also have Message. So you guys are gonna get a message from somebody. It, this could be various different things. If you guys have a crush, you may get some sort of message some sort of truth in a situation, some sort of truth in some sort of relationship. It can, doesn't actually have to be like a relationship to do with love. It can be like a family relationship, a friendship relationship. But this message is really, be it's like a very loving message. Some of you guys, you are actually gonna get a proper like outstanding truth. Like it's like, oh wow, didn't realize that. But also a message is gonna be really, really powerful. So there's gonna be a message that's gonna come from somebody that's gonna be like, I've really, I'm really attracted to you. Could be like a message online dating as well, which I really love. I'm gonna leave those out for you guys to look at. Okay, so let's have a look at the letters and see what we have. So we have E, H, T, uh, Q, I, N, S, and P. So I just take this as it resonates. I'm getting the word, t the name Tim. Uh, I'm hearing the word simple. So things are going to become much more simple this month. And it also could be with a Capricorn or Gemini. You could be working with a Gemini or Capricorn in work. Um, your work could also be very creative. You could be getting a lot of creative ideas to do with your work and things like that. So you might have a lot of questions with somebody as well. I'm hearing like, quintessential, I'm hearing the word quintessential. 
So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Also with my crystal shop. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So I'm pretty sure this is bismuth. Yes, bismuth. So I, have, I rarely get bismuth. So this is going to be a very interesting message for you guys. You're going to be really drawn to whatever message I feel like is going to be here. I feel like it's going to be a very powerful message. So for this, it says, for those looking for some psychedelic influence without swallowing the red pill, lie on your back and take 10 or 100 or a million powerful breaths through your mouth with bismuth placed on your forehead. Then break out of tired gray thought patterns and get an en route, an en route, then get en route to a more powerful, energized life. So who needs it? The easily distracted burners, people who are very bored. Rewrite your code of rainbows. You just burped, so that's the clarification. So I feel like there's a massive change within your energy. And I feel like your, your energetic codes are being rewritten. So you might actually find yourself um, being tripped out easily in some way. You might be, kind of, not in like, you know, psychedelics, I mean, maybe. But also, it's kind of like you may see yourself like daydreaming a lot, um, thinking in a different way, attracting in really weird and eccentric people, um, figuring out new, new things about yourself. It's just a really in-depth crystal, I feel like. There's so much depth to it and all sorts of different messages are going to come through. So I love that. Okay, so we have lots to get through. So we're going to look at the oracle cards first and then we'll look at your little crystal uh, chakra and also your tarot. So let's start off with this first card. We have truth, beautiful. So you guys are gonna get a massive truth coming through. That's really, really great. We also have blend into the environment. Lots of purple going on. I like, I like. We have leap, you go first, the universe will catch you. The age of light, you've been training for this for lifetimes and otter. Initiations be open through his transitional time. Okay, so this is a really interesting message. For you guys, I feel like you're really, I'm hearing generational patterns are being rewritten. So wow, October's gonna be huge for some of you guys in love. I feel like the way you interact with your partners, um, in and I say partners, I don't mean like literal like relationships. I mean like partners in crime, like friendships or family who you're really close to, like mums or dads or whoever, you know, people you're very, very closely connected to. I feel like you're really changing up the way you interact with them and you're becoming much more stable, much more able to really flow with the with the moment. And I feel like you're maturing much better. And when I say much better, I feel like you're just able to listen more and you're able to really take in what you're feeling and executing it out into words. You're not feeling so overwhelmed this month. And I feel like you're also need to be open through his transitional time, but you also are. Some of you guys are being open. I feel like some of you guys just may need to be reminded of that. So for some of you guys, um, we have, you may, uh, sorry, <laughs> you have many skills and you can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So there may be something where you have a bit of an uncomfortable environment or an environment you don't really know what to do, whether you don't really know how to act, you just got to be yourself. Um, and also use your skills that you know you have, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys who have chosen this group, you're very good with communication, you're really good at speaking your, your mind, you have a lot of ideas, you may have Gemini quite strongly in your chart or, you know, you're somebody who's just really good at speaking the truth. So I feel like a lot of truths are going to be had this month, but also you're going to be able to find truth within your creativity. I'm doing this a lot. I feel like you're going to bring in a lot of energy and use it to feel stable. So I feel like for you guys, you could be doing a lot of yoga, a lot of like, I'm hearing Reiki, also um, Tai Chi, a lot of things to do with the hands, a lot of energy to do with the hands. So you might feel your hands like buzzing. Also, I'm hearing for you guys that if you rub your hands together and just hold your hands out like that, maybe you just like rub it together a little bit and then open your hands out, that's the energy that you can feel. Um, even without doing, if they're, even without rubbing your hands together, you can feel it. So there's a lot of like, um, yeah, I heard the word nightshade. Oh, there it is, bittersweet nightshade. So that could be a very strong flower. So maybe look up nightshade. Um, I think that might be a hallucinogenic. I'm not sure, but we did have a little bit about hallucinations. So that's quite interesting. Some of you guys might be getting quite high vibrational this month in terms you might be having lucid dreams. You might be um, kind of astral traveling, you know. And if also, if you don't want to do this, guys, you don't have to. Or if you're feeling that you're doing this without control, um, get grounded ground yourself and know that you do have the control, you know, and sometimes you don't feel like you do, but you really do. Like sometimes you just have to kind of concentrate on the moment in the dream. And just sometimes 
it's just just be very conscious of what you're doing like try to step back from the from the energy and it comes with practice you know we're not always conscious of it so just be just do your best you know um with some of you guys you may feel like you're not really doing a lot in love or love kind of is very like inadequate you have a very inadequate love life at the moment or you're kind of like why am I going through this but it's leading you to where you're meant to be it's kind of like it's all leading in one direction okay and when I was going to say one direction I thought of the the group one direction so some of you guys might be a little one directioners which is cute uh you might really like Harry Styles or you know the other people that are in it that totally gone up in my like Noah Horan and stuff um yeah so basically also there's a truth that's going to come up um around your life and it could be a truth that you find out within yourself but also if you are true to yourself you're easily able to move through life easier there's not so many like uh, uh, blockages you know it's not like i'm seeing like so many different um visualizations so one of them is like a dog scraping its bum against the carpet um i don't know why they do this some of you guys might know why they do this but I'm seeing that, like you're not, you're no longer doing that. And also I'm seeing like a, a hand brushing a cat's fur the other way, like the wrong way. And you're no longer doing that. You're kind of like, you're thinking, why am I doing that? And then you're like, oh, okay. And then I'm like going to switch directions. You'll learn to just switch directions and being open through the transitions. Like you are going through quite a big transition. So just be very gentle with yourself. And if you aren't manifesting anyone like straight away, just be aware that you're meant to, you're not obviously not meant to, you know, manifest them at this direct time. It doesn't mean you're never going to manifest them. Okay. So your crystal is all to do with the throat chakra, lapis lazuli. Well, this is a very emotional crystal expression, express your true self. The world needs you. I love that. So you guys might just be feeling a little bit, I'm hearing unearthed. So kind of like you're feeling very out there, like you're not really connecting with the world right now. But you're, you're, the world needs your expression. The world needs you. So remember to express yourself. And expression is really important because it helps us to understand who we are and how to really be vulnerable. And um, Lapis Azuli is all about emotion. So if I might, I feel like you guys might have some sort of um, it, it being expressive towards like a romantic partner. There is some sort of expression coming in through... Uh, who you are and just feeling a very gentle authentic like outburst like a really amazing like able to like really express yourself fully it just feels so beautiful so you might be starting something brand new that you've always held yourself back on it might be like I don't know fit pole fitness like pole dancing or ballet I'm getting a lot to do with dancing um, and a lot to do with like I'm, I'm touching my neck right now so you guys could be getting quite a lot of neck pain um, but also neck is the neck is to do with your stability and how you're holding yourself so expression will help you to let go of any stress but also you're probably going to get an expressive message around this time okay so we're going for your tarot and then we're going to pick up the little words so we have in reverse okay so all right so you guys may be feeling a little bit lost yeah you guys are feeling a little bit lost a little bit confused but that's okay things will shift very soon and um, this is all about you guys finding your path and but needing to drop any old beliefs around kind of restriction um but also just learning that the more you love yourself and the more you express and just let yourself feel more let yourself be open let yourself be vulnerable because being vulnerable is freaking scary sometimes but if you can really just let yourself be free it's going to make you feel so much better and also you may just feel like you can't express yourself you feel like kind of unexpressionable like maybe your intuition's a bit kind of dull recently it's kind of feeling a little bit down but guys it's gonna it but uh, intuition fluctuates, you know, we are not like one person, we are constantly in flux, you know, so we cannot be controlled, we cannot be confined. And that's why society is basically breaking down because we are not meant to be caged. We are squishy little spiritual beings that are so much bigger than what we think we are. So for you guys, it's really important to just give yourself what you need at the time and let yourself feel. If someone is expressing themselves to you, listen to them you know and possibly it's a chance for you to listen more than to speak but I definitely feel like for you guys in love I do feel like it's understanding the balance of your relationships and learning that you don't have to win or learning and I feel like I'm talking to an Aries right now when I say that um but just learning that you don't need to be right all the time and learning to know that you don't have to be right you know if and learning that being wrong sometimes is okay you know and that is actually my chest is hurting now I'm saying that so I think for you guys you really feel stuff in your chest you feel a lot of like pain 
So don't restrict yourself, you know, and this is practice, you know, you don't have to learn this, you don't have to know this, just as long as you take it on board and just think about it, you know, you don't have to do anything about it, this is only guidance. Um, but if you guys are feeling a little bit passionless, the best thing for you to, to do is to express yourself, especially in love. Uh, if there's somebody you want to talk to, just freaking talk to them, because I think you're holding yourself back, because you know what you want, and I think it's just learning to let yourself be open to it. Okay, so let's get some words. I'm going to leave it over here so you guys don't see what I'm picking and so I don't see what I'm picking. Just going to give it a little shake -a Okay. I'm going to get some star signs as well. Picking up on Cancerian really strongly. And like water signs really strong. Okay. Yep, we got we got a Pisces. Beautiful. I picked up on Pisces as well. That's amazing. Okay, so star signs we have Virgo, we have Pisces, and we have Gemini. Wow, very a lot of sensitivity, feeling very, very sensitive. I'm gonna show you guys up close just in case you can't see them. Okay. So Virgo, Pisces, and Gemini. So you could be in contact with any of those people. Okay, so your words are abundance, <laughs> lovely. Abundance, happiness, yes, queens. We have a relationship, so you guys could be getting into a relationship this month. We have success, and we have message. So some of you guys could be getting a message from somebody. You could be getting a message from somebody in work, and you're just kind of dealing with kind of, mm, is it work, is it not, and kind of like, <laughs> struggling a little bit because you don't know what it <laughs> what it's going to be I and mean, kind of almost some of you guys you're going to get a message from somebody and a lot of you guys are going to feel like you can't answer that message because it's somebody in, in work so we have m w s p q h n i n l Seeing the word like spill, so maybe spilling the tea, you know, someone's gossiping, you know, but it's, it's cute, it's cute gossip. Um, I'm also hearing the word pal, so someone could, you could be like talking to somebody, I'm hearing you talking to somebody in your work group about a guy that you really like or a girl you're really interested in. Just somebody who you really enjoy being around. I'm seeing the word Phil, like the name Phil, Phyllis, Philip. Um, I'm hearing the word like posh somebody quite posh or somebody who likes to, I mean, Virgos can be quite posh. <laughs> they can be quite like, um, well, you know, well-versed kind of a lot of, I just burps as clarification. A lot of Virgos can be quite, you know, they like to see it be seen as quite prestigious or, you know, not everyone, but a lot of them do like to be like that perfectionist. So yeah, so that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I'm also hearing the word hill, like a hill. So going over a hill or feeling like, Maybe you're going to be sitting on a hill for your, like, your first date or something, but it feels like you're going to be around like hills or mountains or something like that, going on like an ocean trek or something, something like that, like a beach trek. I'm getting like Scotland and, you know, lakes and stuff. I'm here in uh, Minnesota as well and like Lake, Lu Lake Louise. I don't know where Lake Louise is. I hope that's a place, but that's what I'm picking up on. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. And if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. And if you'd like to check out my crystal shop, that is also down below. I do custom crystal bracelets and jewellery and everything like that. So please do check it out down below. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading and let's see what's coming for you guys in your love life in October. So crystal card you have is Amber. I feel like I need to put it that way, but it looks like a little sword. That's cute. So we have Amber, which is really beautiful. So this says, uh, who needs it? Tree people, old souls, anyone gearing up for a long, dark winter, which is so funny because we're literally going into autumn right now. So that is so perfect. So when to use it when you need a metaphysical hug from the universe, call on Amber's cuddly electric blanket vibes and cozy up, recharge your good vibes. This always reminds me of something that you just want to eat. It reminds me of like maple syrup and like really warm, yummy things. And it's very autumnal. So I feel like for you guys, you're really embracing October this month, this time, this year. And you're really embracing Halloween and getting really cozy. And I feel like you're really getting ready for the winter times and just really embracing like the, win the winter and when it starts to get cold. Obviously, it's 
obviously depending on where you are in the world to just take it as it resonates but I feel like some of you guys are getting really excited about October and Halloween and I feel like it's going to be something quite special quite warm and wholehearted within the month of October so there could be an occasion that you're celebrating could be a Scorpio or a Libra's birthday you know hi I'm a Scorpio got my birthday on Halloween <laughs> just thought I put that out there um so yeah so let's get started with your reading we're going to start off with the uh, oracle cards and then we're going to look into your crystals as well and see what wants to come out there okay so put those guys over there right oracle cards first so oh persistence so lots of persistence this month putting things into perspective and like keep on going with what you're doing um and it's the it's the flower of euphor euphorbia euphorbia so maybe look up that flower you might get some sort of message looking at the underbelly number six. Oh, i love this very intense and interesting message be sure that you're using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider taking time to organise yourself or perhaps a project you are working on could use some fine tuning. Interesting. Okay, so maybe it's kind of going back to a situation or kind of thinking about is there anything that you want to improve on or any sort of new situations. This kind of feels like you're discovering something about yourself this month that you didn't know about or some about somebody who's I'm hearing somebody who's a lot like you so I don't know if you guys have a twin or a cousin who you're really close to and they discover something about themselves and it reflects back onto you it's some sort of like reflection I'm hearing or you discover just something about your path as well so it said there you are you are the light it is safe to step fully into your light we then have the crumbling what are you clinging on to and the star seed what lights you up so you guys are really transforming or have transformed in the month of October you guys are really recognizing something within yourself and I do feel like in terms of love um, I feel like the persistence that you give towards yourself is really gonna you're really gonna gain this month I feel like especially with the crumbling what you hold what you clinging on to there could be something like an idea or a certain person you're clinging on to and it's really recognizing what lights you up not what lights them up or him or her what lights you up and I love how we have what lights you up and it says you are the light is so fully into your light and amber is literally like it's quite light it's almost like a something that's lit up so for you guys there's definitely some awakening that you're having within yourself and the persistence that you have towards yourself and how much you're gaining is going to really benefit you so i'm gonna just pull um another flower card well this one popped out so we're going to give have her as well we have aspiration so you guys are very inspiring you guys inspire a lot of people and you guys have a lot of aspirations that you want to achieve and i think in terms of love you are very special and don't ever think that you're not okay because it may be may have been hard in your love life but i feel like you're going to gain so much more wisdom this month and i think also if you're in a current relationship or you could have like a, I feel like it's something you're, being, you're discovering something about a certain relationship that you have. And it feels quite interesting. It feels like you're really, you're like, oh, like you have an epiphany about how you possibly acted in your relationships or how things have just turned out. And you're like, oh my God, I didn't realize I was acting like that. Or I didn't realize that that's what I needed to do. Or I didn't realize that part of myself. So you could be looking into, into like astrology this month about yourself, or you could just even watch a reading and think, oh wow, yeah, I didn't realize I was like that. And then we have passion. So reaching into what you're passionate about and what you think you what you love about life. And this is the okay, I really cannot pronounce this flower, but they're saying pronounce it anyway. Okay. It says Bougain Villia. I don't know if that's you know if I pronounce that correctly, but some of you guys might have a connection with that flower as well. And there is a film that's new to Netflix, it's called Um Enola Holmes, and there's a lot to do with flowers on there, so you may have watched that film too. Um but there's definitely noting here. It says it's definitely worth noting that the strength that you have within yourself is so much more powerful than what you think you have and keep going okay don't give up and know that this this strength is so powerful and someone's going to absolutely love you for that and if you're in already in a relationship your partner loves you for your strength and you have so many things you want to achieve and just just because it possibly hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it's never going to happen and it, it even means it is going to happen it's just you guys have got to recognize what you really love about yourself and just let yourself feel that you know and let yourself be vulnerable and know that your emotions aren't perfect you know like but you are perfect you're perfect the way you are but you don't have to constantly analyze your emotions that's what i'm hearing okay not everything is needs to be analyzed sometimes it just needs to be felt okay very deep 
Wow, so we have throat and the third eye for the chakra that you guys are gonna be working on in your love life this month. So we have the throat chakra, Larimar, and then we have the third eye chakra of fluorite. So this one says, listening, if you want to be heard, learn to listen. That was a message for number two, I'm pretty sure. So if you guys resonate with number two, that might be that as well. Or felt the need to go back to number two, that'd be a good message for you guys. And then destiny, follow your instincts, they lead to the truth. Sorry, my thumb was in the way. Uh, follow your instincts, they lead to the truth. So it's funny how we have truth and then we have listening. So you guys might actually get a truth from somebody and know that when you follow your intuition, it will lead you to where you wanna go. So learn to love your intuition and follow it and listening to your intuition. And it's, it's bringing you towards your destiny. So you may get a download from spirit about what you need to do in this month, especially to do with love. It may be connecting to somebody, it may be like, messaging somebody maybe talking to somebody like telling them how you feel or you may get an intuitive hit about somebody or somebody might come in your dreams who you're going to meet very soon i'm getting like a male and he's holding a black cat i don't know why i'm getting that but i'm really picking up on that and i'm hearing that's for some of you people who recognize as a witch or you, those of you who are quite witchy okay that's what i'm just picking up on it doesn't have to be those who are who, who kind of resonate as a witch but i'm picking up on just somebody who who sees you as somebody just very spiritual. So that's what I'm picking up on. Um, and we have Fluorite and we have Laramar. So you guys could be really connected with those crystals as well. All right, so Tarot, reverse, upright. Upright and upright, beautiful, wow. Wow, 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 massive amount of intuitive downloads. You guys are gonna get a message from somebody that's gonna basically, the universe is like, yes, now it's time. Now it's time to act. So for you guys, it could have been very slow in your love life and you could be really waiting on some sort of message. Oh my God, things are really gonna change around for you guys. So it could be you get a message from somebody in work um, or related to work and that's how you meet your person. It could be that, I feel like, I've never actually noticed that he's actually holding the sword instead of the end of the sword. So for you guys, I feel like this is, I'm hearing something painful is being released or you're realizing something painful, but it's not bad. It's like, you're realizing a truth about a situation, but also it could be something so intense, like in a good way. Like you feel like a message could, comes across as very intense and very powerful and passionate. And it feels like the person that you're connecting to is just really intense and powerful. I'm hearing they also might like pain, but I don't mean it in a really gross way. I mean it like they might enjoy getting tattoos done and stuff like that. They're probably a very intense person that some of you guys are kind of connecting to. And just please take that as lightly as possible. I don't mean it in anything like to do with knives or anything. I just mean it like they're a bit of a thrill person. They like thrillers or horrors or they like, you know, roller coasters. That's what I'm picking up on. But that's only for some of you guys, okay? Like a thrill seeker, but for some of you guys. Um, for others of you, it's just a massive amount of newness. Like you're really letting yourself be free and there is a massive amount of, of abundance coming in for you guys. Like, holy crap, so amazing. And you guys are just really just speaking your truth and understanding something about yourself that's a really deep knowing. And I think this message is so divinely timed. I think if it's not gonna happen this month, it will be in December. That's what I'm picking up on. Definitely feels like a love message or something you've wanted for such a freaking long time. Something that you're really, you're just really, um, you're really passionate about and you're really enthusiastic about this new start. I feel like you um, have wanted this for such a long time. So get prepared because it's coming guys, it is coming, okay? So let's have a look at your message. I'm just gonna shuffle this. I'm gonna do it off camera so you guys don't see what I'm picking. I mean, you might be able to see, but it, I can't really see, so. And I'm looking at the viewfinder, so. Give this a little shake of rooney All right, so let's pick up those. I'm hearing just to slow down. You guys got to slow down, give yourself patience. Some of you guys might be having a roast dinner as well. That is pull so many for this group, okay. I'm picking up the word happiness as well. I don't know if we're gonna get that word, but I'm picking up on the word happiness. So, okay, heart chakra, lots of heart chakra stuff going on this month, feeling really open with your heart chakra. We have success, we have happiness. There we go, we have happiness. We have creation. We have they and her. I cut that off too early. Um, but you guys might be connecting with a group or somebody who uh, kind of, names themselves they instead of him or her. 
um, but also how you could be really resonating with like a, a female friend as well or a female in love you guys have got a massive new start this is possibly why i felt the need to pull so many yeah they're saying yeah that's why we pulled so many because you've got so many different things going on in the month of october we also have um fitness so you guys are really working your fitness could, could create a, have abundance coming in because you have manifested a relationship and it's somebody who's very interested in fitness uh, we have the color blue and we have him so you could be manifesting a male as well in love and we have blue which is to do with the throat chakra so that's beautiful so you guys are really learning to um speak your truth in love and you're manifesting somebody who's really good at speech which makes sense because we have that um swords card as well okay so star signs we have sagittarius we have capricorn and we have pisces absolutely beautiful so this could resonate with some of you guys of who you're connecting with okay love that someone who's really really passionate and just i'm hearing read really, in the best way doesn't give a damn like they don't overthink stuff they just do things and they're very like driven there's somebody who has so many ideas so we have we have i we have m we have r we have b h j x s k T and we also have the letter D and L. I'm hearing on the down low, so there might be a message coming in that you guys are kind of like having to keep secret for a while. I'm hearing actually a surprise engagement. So some of you guys you might actually be getting engaged. It's a surprise though, so don't tell anyone. <laughs> I joke, I joke, but seriously though, you guys might be getting engaged um, or know that you've already got engaged and now you're kind of planning it. Um, it just feels like something. I'm hearing an ex, like an ex life. So your old life is kind of being released and a new life is coming in. It's kind of expired. I'm hearing, I'm seeing like an old date on like food, um, which is funny because I was literally figuring out what I need to chuck away in my cupboard today, like food wise. So you guys might be just releasing some old stuff um, physically, like physical things, but also relationship wise. This is why you're creating so much abundance because you already have let go of the old, which is so beautiful. I'm hearing some of you guys having health struggles as well. Um, just know that create happiness in your life and not try not to focus on the health problems. Like obviously know that they're important, but know that if you focus on the goodness, it will actually help you heal. Okay. It will help you heal. I'm not saying you will be healed anything like that um, i don't do health readings so i'm not obviously guaranteeing it i'm not guaranteeing anything but just focus on your happiness and what makes you feel good in the moment and don't focus on anyone else in terms of like negativity or comparison just really work on your own life and know that everyone's life is different and you can't compare and it's just comparison is a killer you know so just be really um uh, just really work on yourself and just yeah you're doing the best you can so Thank you so much, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, the last message I'm getting is for some of you might be studying studying astronomy. I'm hearing I'm hearing aesthetics, like um, maybe like a surgeon or something to do with like um, kind of prosthetics. Um, I'm hearing something to do with like aesthetics, yeah, like your face and like the way things look. Um, I'm hearing architecture, um, agricultural, lots of things like that. So just be aware of things like that. I'm also randomly seeing like a reindeer or a deer or like a, a i'm hearing a stoat i don't know why i'm hearing it saying a stoat but yeah so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below if you'd like to get any of the crystals in a piece of custom jewelry all the information is down below for my etsy shop and i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number four thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so the first card we have out is diamonds you guys chose diamond so this says, when you've just got to keep it icy, when you want to make your intentions perfectly clear, when it's time to beam your own unique light through the darkness for all to see, own it with diamond, shine your brightest. You guys are being really noticed this month. You guys are really learning that you don't always have to do things you always have always done. I think you can change it up and you can change up your style. You might be wearing things you don't normally wear and kind of like maybe wearing more extra extravagant jewelry, more extravagant just items and things. You might be buying yourself like, I'm hearing Pandora, so you might be buying like Pandora jewelry, um, just sparkly things. I feel like just giving yourself a treat 
Um, and I'm, see I'm seeing some of you guys going to a spa. I don't know if spas are open or if we're allowed to do those sort of things. But if not, you might just give be giving yourself like a spa day and just letting yourself be luxurious, you know? Because sometimes we really don't let ourselves do that. So I feel like you're going to be doing that as well. I think some of you guys are quite practical. So you're thinking, well, not there's no like practical element to that. But I feel like the more you learn to just open up and be, you know, let yourself do things unusual sometimes, then I think you'll really think that you have you, you you'll give yourself more choice I feel and let yourself be free so love life treasuring yourself I'm hearing and treasuring yourself love oh we have memory that's cute we have the forget me not flower beautiful very much through the root chakra okay so let's have a look at the other cards and we'll see what this one says so oh my god <laughs> that resonates so much with this card replacing what was lost you now have the opportunity re to rejuvenate and start anew. Create with a new perspective or outlook. This card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon. Memory is really making me feel like you guys don't need to focus on the past anymore. Now is not the time to do that. Obviously, if you feel like you do, you may be getting like dreams about people from the past or something like that. But just remember that I feel like focus on positive memories, but know that you know abundance is coming. So you don't have to feel too bad about your past, anything like that, really focus on what is coming towards you. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of your cards. We have Anna, grandmother of Jesus, or Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. You guys do not know what's coming towards you. This is going to be insane. Okay, we have Pallades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity, keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you let's bring a little bit more room in here you guys had an extra card than all the other groups so you guys are very special who've chosen group number four which i love oh here we go acceptance embrace who you are beautiful okay so just to know you have your ancestors around you you have people guiding you and helping you just you may not feel it you may not feel it um, you may feel a little bit alone and just realize that you have people to help you and you, you may have you may feel like quite alone but realizing that actually people are helping you from their level of understanding and I feel like for you guys you're really learning to just be in your own energy and realizing that what you feel like is good for you will soon become a reality so say if you really want a relationship and you can't you feel like you can't attract it just know that you wanting a relationship is enough and you will attract it it's just it's a divine timing. Also, I love how we have seeding the light, laying foundations and divine plan. And this girl, the way she's just looking down and smiling, she's like, girl, you ain't got nothing to worry about. We have laying the foundation, divine plan. So for you guys, you may have a mission to uplift humanity. You may be a healer. You may be somebody who's quite intuitive. You may be somebody who just helps people understand and realize the reality of things in terms of like on a more spiritual level and telling people not to worry and things like that. I feel like you just got to learn that this is your path. And if you feel alone, know that you will find your tribe. And I think with this month, I feel like with love, you will find your person. I feel like for some of you guys who've been waiting for a very long time to find their person, you will find them. And I'm thinking, like, I feel like I'm here. Okay, I'm, I have so many messages. Sorry, guys. It's just my words can't come out. So I'm getting the number 12. I'm also hearing the number six. Oh, we have number 12. Oh my God, I didn't realize that. Okay, number 12. Um, that's about what I'm saying. Okay, I'm hearing completion. Uh, I'm hearing, yeah, replacing what was lost. I feel like you guys feel so alone sometimes, and I completely, completely, completely am here for you. Okay, and I completely resonate with that. So you guys may feel like you have a mission to uplift humanity, and you have so much responsibility. But know that you guys are meant to have this life. And you are going to create so much freaking amazingness. And you guys are almost like the grandmother or the granddad of a group. So you guys might be the carer of the group. But actually, now it's your time to be the carer of yourself. And realize that, yes, your path may be different from a lot of people's. And you may feel nostalgic about the past because there may have been not many things come into your life recently. But all you got to do is accept who you are and accept your needs and know that your needs are valid. And you will attract what you need in that moment, okay? And I'm going to pull you a couple more cards here for you guys. That's the one. Okay, dreams. You guys are going to get really intense dreams. And you're going to possibly meet your future partner or get a really strong love message through your dreams. 
Okay, I want this one. I'm getting a lot of cards. I feel the need to pull loads of cards. We have Beauty. We have Innocence. Serenity. Well, that says Serendipity. Um, and this one. Generosity. You're going to get so many messages from people, I feel. And you're going to have so much affection. You guys are going to have so much affection. Lots of hugs and cuddles from somebody, I feel. Okay, you guys are going to get the love you deserve. That's what I'm hearing really strongly. That's a really, really, really strong message. And you guys are really working on your beauty. And you're feeling at peace with yourself. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So let's get you the rest of your cards, okay? So yeah, I just randomly felt the need to pull you guys cards. Sometimes I do that in reading, so... That's what I felt, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, oh wow, oh my god, you guys have so many things that are like adding up. That's beautiful. So, we have the sacral chakra, carnelian, letting go. Letting go is not giving up, sometimes it's the first step towards success. So, we literally had memory, we had you know, releasing old things and just letting go, and that's bringing in abundance, guys. You guys are letting go of something so big and, and bringing in something so big. Wow, sacral chakra is all about confidence. So if you guys are struggling to let go of something, know that you will get, have the confidence to get have this. It's just learning to acknowledge that this is taking the first step, step towards success, okay? And Carnelian is very much about your drive and how you feel driven, okay? What makes you feel driven? Strength, beautiful. Temperance. Okay, eight of swords. So. You guys are learning to balance out your emotions, okay? When you feel intensity, you work with it. And I feel like you guys have so much strength within you. You feel like maybe that's why you feel so alone because maybe you can't really resonate with a lot of people. I do feel like you guys feel a little bit trapped. What the best thing for you to do is, is to just separate yourself from this emotion. Not to like completely not feel it, that's not what I'm saying. I think for you guys, it's really important to feel it, but also know that you will get through this and the eight of swords is showing me you just feel a little bit trapped so that's okay it's not going to last forever and know your intuition is going to guide you out of this and you guys may feel like you can't let go of something that is what it is and just know you have the strength i think you're going to find peace when you let go of any entrapment you have on yourself and also just any expectations you have on yourself that are negative you know and knowing that you are entrapping yourself, no one is doing that for you. You do have a choice, okay? Someone is not treating you well, you do have a choice to let go of them, okay? You don't you don't have to do that. So I haven't pulled this card for everybody, and I need to do that, because I didn't do that. But today, I felt the need to just kind of do whatever I feel. So I'm going to pull you a card. Wow. Holy crap. You guys are going to get union with somebody. Oh my god. Somebody who's very stable. And you guys, we have the Divine Feminine. So for you Divine Feminines, you guys are going to get a relationship coming in soon, which is beautiful. Um, we also have the Sixth Chakra as well. We have the Third Eye here and we have Joy as well, which is so beautiful. So amazing. Somebody who's very, very spiritual. This is the Third Eye. So you guys are going to get an intuitive hit when this person comes in. You guys have been waiting for this for a long time. It says the energy of uni union activates our ability to unite our outer and inner as aspect towards a state of wholeness. That is so stunning. How beautiful is that? I love that. It's so gorgeous. I love the number 44. It's such like a gorgeous, stable, a sexy, stable number. We love, we love. Okay, so let's get you some information on this month. Let's see what's happening for you guys. I'm going to give this a little, a little shuffle, a little a shuffle, shuffle. some star signs okay that's letters <laughs> okay we have trustworthy that really is standing out to me someone who's really trustworthy like you can you can trust now I'm hearing you can trust now I'm gonna keep pulling until they, st until they stop okay one more in there that's not it <laughs> I'm gonna keep going that's not it that's it 
Okay, sorry guys, I was really like getting in the zone there. Okay, so we have K S V A P L I. Oh, we have lit. Yas Queen, she's lit. We have lit. We have. So, oh dear, I'm just gonna. Um, just, just, I had to, guys, I had to, and we have M. So, you, <laughs> you guys are really, like, channeling some deep sensual energy. <laughs> okay, there's the truth about a relationship. You guys are going to get some massive amount of abundance. That is intense. Um, your heart is really opening, and you're going to manifest happiness with somebody. It could be an Aries, Pisces, or Taurus really gorgeous oh i love this love this marriage we have color blue so it's your third eye chakra and we have her so you guys could be having your hair dyed blue also it could be that you guys are really connected with your throat chakra and as a female you're able to really express yourself you could also be manifesting a woman into your life um a female um a romantic partner somebody's a female i'm going to show you these up closer beautiful i'm so excited for you guys for the month of october this is so positive i'm so happy i can't believe that word though that <laughs> oh my god you guys are sassy you guys are freaking sassy okay so we have intuitive we have courageous i heard stubborn with that one so you can be manifest as stubborn aries trustworthy courageous and intuitive beautiful so that is your reading guys i'm also seeing you guys riding a horse or like a horse on the sand I'm seeing like a black horse on the sand I'm also hearing the word elf. I don't know why, that's just what I heard. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I'm hearing for some of you guys, Christmas is going to be very different for you guys. It's going, to feel, it's going to feel so different to what you've ever had, but in a really super positive way. So thank you so much for watching. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. If you would like to have a look at my crystal shop, I do custom pieces. So if you like any of your crystals today in a piece of jewellery, all that information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I love you and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.